And I only got 24 hours to shoot with this lens, but that was plenty of time to realize that this is definitely a lens every Sony shooter should probably have in their kit. It was, it was that good. What's good, creative fam? Brandon Washington here, and first of all, thank you so much for checking out this video. If it's your first time checking out the videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button because this channel is all about filmmaking, gear, tips, and tutorials. And in today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter lens for Sony E-mount. Now, before we jump into my thoughts on this lens, I gotta give a huge shout out to the creative fam because you guys have been growing strong. We've actually grown by over 2,000 subscribers in the last couple weeks. And I mean, it's an absolutely mind-blowing experience meeting with you guys, messaging you guys, watching you guys' content and all that great stuff. So definitely huge shout out to you guys. In fact, today's video is actually only possible thanks to one of you guys. I have to give a big shout out to my homie Samuel for letting me borrow this lens for the last 24 hours. He saw the video about me getting the a7 III and reached out and was like, hey, I got this Tamron lens, you should definitely check it out. So if you want to, link up with me and let's do it. And he totally let me borrow this lens so I could do a review just for you guys. So the creative fam is strong, it is real. Y'all are out there, y'all are not just numbers. Y'all are real folks making a difference on this channel already. So I appreciate each and every one of you. But with all that sappy stuff out of the way, we're gonna be looking at this Tamron lens. Now, first of all, I have never shot with a Tamron lens before. Back in the day when I first got onto my, you know, video world, Tamron made really cheap lenses and they weren't great. Like they were cheap and they looked cheap, they felt cheap, they were built cheap. So for that reason, I never really considered them as a lens choice. But after I did post that video, so many of you guys told me I need to check out this lens. So I did and I'm so glad that I did because this lens is amazing. Now a couple things y'all definitely need to know about this lens. First of all, this is a very inexpensive lens coming in at only 800 bucks, but you get a lot for that price tag. First of all, the 28 to 75 millimeter focal range is a really good overall focal range. Now I'm very familiar with the 24 to 70, whether I was shooting that on Canon or I was shooting that when I rented the Sony initially. The 24 to 70 is that perfect focal range. It's honestly the lens that I recommend most people start out with if they're not sure what lens to get. And so the 28 to 75 was a little bit off of that, but it actually works out really, really well. 28 is just wide enough to give you a nice wide shot that you can actually use, but that 75 really comes in clutch when you're trying to zoom in, especially if you wanna kind of compress the background. Now the kicking feature for this entire lens is the fact that it sits at 2.8 aperture all the way through. Typically inexpensive lenses like this, and I say inexpensive, I know that's relative, but inexpensive lenses typically have some type of variable aperture. And the fact that this thing sits at 2.8 not only makes it a very sharp lens and a great lens for that bokeh, but it also means that it's gonna work really well in low light. Now, one other thing that I thought was really interesting, as, as a lot of you guys know, coming over from Canon and now trying out Sony, I have never had a camera that actually crops in on the body for photography and for video on purpose, where you can manually make that choice. And so with the a7 III, I actually have one of my buttons, one of my custom buttons mapped to actually allow me to crop in. And the huge benefit there is now this pushes this lens even further than 75 and actually takes it even further closer to about 100 millimeters or so. You know, as an everyday lens, something you can easily throw in your bag, get the shots you need, run and gun style shooting, this lens works out perfectly. However, there are a few little hiccups with this lens, which is why it is priced where it's at. The first thing you'll see that's missing from this lens is a switch to switch this thing over from manual to autofocus. Now this is something I've actually seen in pretty much every other lens other than this one. But what this means is that if you do wanna manually focus with this lens, you will have to do it on your camera and switch it over that way. But you can always map one of your custom buttons on the Sony's to do that. The next thing I noticed with this lens is that if you are manually focusing with it, there is no screen to tell you where your stops are and to know where like infinity is. And so it does make it a little bit harder to pull focus. Now, luckily the Sony's have really good features like peaking built into them and focus magnification built into them. So you can kind of get your focus right, but 
you do have to really keep that in mind that it's gonna be hard to tell where your focus range is directly from the lens. And I think the last thing that sort of bothered me with this lens was just sort of the build quality. I mean, it's not the best. Obviously, you're not expecting the best from this lens, but I will say that this is a lens that you are gonna need to baby a little bit. I could easily see this lens breaking super easily. So just be careful if you do buy this lens, this isn't one that you can just kind of throw in a bag and be a little bit rough with. You're gonna have to take care of it. So with all that being said, I still think this is a great lens as a pickup. I think this is a lens pretty much almost for anybody, whether you are a professional or you are an amateur, this is a great lens to add to your kit. The only way I would say this isn't a lens you should pick up is if you already have the 24 to 70 G Master lens, which as a lot of you guys may already know, that's like a 2000 plus dollar lens. So it's not a lens that most people can just run off and pick up. I know it's a lens that I'm personally looking to grab, but I mean, until I can pick up that lens, this Tamron might be a great solution even for myself until I'm ready to buy that G Master. But there you have it guys. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you thought it was helpful, definitely give it a big thumbs up. On top of that, I am now uploading videos Monday through Friday, giving you guys that daily dose of creativity. But if you guys go out this weekend and you create something dope, definitely send it over to me because I'd love to check it out and see what you guys are creating. And if you haven't already, for sure, hit that subscribe button so that way you can join this creative fam and see the journey that we're going out there because I'm putting out videos almost every day. So thanks so much again and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.